autopsy. They'll know. Who will know? Who will know? Motherfuckers. Fine. If they'll know, I'll not do it. Where are they? Are you they? Sir? Are you they? A shabnak of deer always steals the form of a woman, but that's mere illusion, broken the moment it starts to run. That's when you notice the legs made of bone or clay. To be fair, my legs are made of bone. It leaves no trace behind. When it runs, the illusion dissolves like a smell carried away on the wind. Um, let's see, that means, here's my method. If it doesn't have any brains, that means its head is made of clay. Take it right to the cemetery. Right, the cemetery is where they come from. Lots of clay there, and bones. And off to the cemetery you go. Say hello to the ghosts for me. Got anything cool on you? I would, I would love some, some food stuffs. Chisel. Used to mark and sharpen tools, handy for fixing bladed weapons and machinery. You won't barter with me, I assume, because I have in no way, I have no actual way to like trade anything with you. So goodbye, sir. Young child. Um. Oh. This child will trade something. So people only take certain things. Okay. Uh, I don't want any of this. But, thank you, child. Alright, great. That's a bull. It's a lot smaller than the last one we saw, sir. Hey, no current? Buy Kara. You are a good man. Buy my bull. Why would I want a bull? It's not just any bull. It brings luck. When the time comes, it'll tell you what to do. Can it talk, then? Unente, it is known. It will talk on the scariest day of your life, showing you the right way. Eh, Kaladara, I'd rather not have it at all. Perhaps that won't be a scary day in my life, then. Oh, the scary day will come if you have a bull or not. To be honest, I think you're a swindler. So you're selling me a curse on four legs. Great, I'll take it from you if you pay me. Take him for 200. It's a good bull. I don't even have a place to keep it. Pay me now and I'll bring it to your place later. It'll become a day when you'll be grateful to me. I'm tempted. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll take the bull. Don't worry, bull. You're mine now. I don't know what I'll call you yet. We'll figure that one out. Where am I going? Oh. Am I here? No, it's down there. Okay. Well, if it isn't one of my friends, the spindly boys. This thirst keeps driving me toward my death. Don't be foolish, I am the one dying of thirst. Indeed, see me act your fate, dear fool. Help, someone help, this thirst is soon to kill me. Keep it up, I want to know how it ends. You die, my friend, that's how it ends. Water is all around, though puddles make poor drinks. Sip from fountain spouts, from barrel bunges. A bottle is all you need, here, have one. Thanks for the bottle, foolish man. Boy, my, my reputation just keeps getting worse as time passes by, it seems. How absolutely delightful. Bye? You responsible? Alright. What's going on over here? You're the lady from the title screen. Hey, Kaldar. I didn't do anything. Uh, why did they run away? I don't know. They behave so strange. What are you doing here, Basahagan? I brought my bones here. Are you kissing the skull? I'm not kissing it, it was in my hands, then people ran in. I was embarrassed and hid my face. But you haven't done anything wrong, why were you ashamed? I won't explain to you, I did nothing wrong. I just brought my bones here. What's wrong with that? These bones are mine. I didn't steal them, I tell the truth. Uh... You should be more careful with your bones, Basagan. You're acting strange, and people rarely appreciate that. What's so strange about that? They're the strange ones. Come to think of it, it isn't. 
So go ahead and do whatever you want, so long as it doesn't hurt anyone. I will not. I believe you. It looks like she's kissing the skull. I understand the confusion there. Everyone hates me. I'll be hunted. Absolutely delightful. Fantastic news. Can't wait for that one. Yeah, trust too low to Trey. I feel like that's going to be a recurring thing. Yes, this is the building. Where is the entrance to the building? Ugh. Take the longest possible way around, of course. That's how I do things. Answer. Don't, don't put the fucking lockpick, or the scalpel out. Alright, all of that shit's locked. Well, isn't that foreboding? Hello. God, what an idiot I was. Doubtlessly true. Well, one thing is clear. You are a very, very lucky man. Which means, you need to take care of yourself. You are so careless, Varak. It's Artemy Varak, right? Barack, Artemy Barack. Apologies. Oh, and may I ask, is it true that your actions have already resulted in four deaths? I'm not in the habit of spilling my guts to strangers, especially when they can't even remember my name. Daniel Denkovsky, Bachelor of Medicine, at your services. But before we speak any further, I'd like to clarify a rather crucial thing. Just how highly do you hold your sense of duty? Too, cl too highly, clearly, since it brought me back to this wretched town. Well, from this point on, you... <coughs> Oh me, I just saved you from our rather grisly fate. I don't remember seeing rescue team. Your Reuben has utterly murderous intents. Isidore made quite a lot to him. Your father was his mentor. Reuben even considers himself old Barak's true son, unlike you. Anyway, he thinks you're to blame for your father's death. What a load of... I managed to convince him that you didn't actually kill Isidore. Well, not empirically. Uh, but I'm under the impression that in Reuben's mind, you still caused your father's death. You did, after all, take your sweet time getting here, while Isidore was counting on your help. Is that true? No, it's not, and I sense foul play in your valiant attempt to save me from my best friend. Uh, trying to guilt trip me, huh? That's clever. What a learned man you are. Look, you have my condolences, Varak. But since you've established that you owe me... Let me explain how you'll repay your debt. Things are about to get a little tense, and I need only one thing, just exactly as I tell you. You're a doctor, right? I'm a surgeon. A good one, too. Allow me to sum up. Reuben, Reuben told me that he's the only decent doctor in town, but you're a competent surgeon. I need you alive, healthy, and quiet. Close at hand. Spare me any wild improvisations, and I'll be the one handling the situation. Medicum morbo abidi. Andy Herbe? Fucking just talks and landed. Uh, I always sucked at this stupid language. I'll assume that was an apology. What we got there? Wool? Out of town dandy kindly informed me that Stonk considers me a patricide. Madness. I guess for him, it's guess it's for the best I missed him. Alright, well. Can I uh, lose anything in here? Sick. What a peculiar place. I didn't think there were still towns like this. Shut up, Daniel. Daniel's an asshole. You might have been able to pick up on that from, you know, that conversation. Hello. Can I help you? You look like a normal person that's just been shrunk. A normal person. An adult. So what is the asshole? So what? Is the asshole still in there? The one with the carpet bag? Uh, yeah, he's in there. I hereby grant you every right to throw something at him if you so desire. But where's Dr. Reuben? We need a doctor. Um, I'm a doctor. What's the issue? There's been a disaster. Alma, Duke, and Wolfling were poisoned. Where are they? In a warehouse with little flags. Go down the railroad and to the left. You'll see. Lead the way. I can't. We need to go to a drugstore and find bones and a whistle and a shovel. Or not can bite our heads off. You'll find the place on your own. It's easy. Bones and a whistle are here for your poison? Well, good luck with that. Jesus Christ, things are really starting to stack up here, aren't they? Seems local urgency need assistance. Three poison patients are in a warehouse we used to play when we were kids. They seem to require medical help. Good heavens, we have so much doctoring to do and not a lot of time to do these things then. Um, 
where are, oh, they're over there. I don't really know how to cure poison as of right now. Um, clothes, grocery, pharmacy. Stop in the other pharmacy at least and see if I can get some, you know, helpful supplies. Can't even trade with a fucking pharmacist anymore. Fine, Jesus. I'm gonna buy a mystery package from this child. What's it got in it? Bandage. Amazing. Should I save it? One of the other, one of the people that we're gonna try and help might need it, right? Probably. Hey. Hey, buddy. But buddy All right, he's busy. I understand. You know, I shouldn't obstruct him. Oh, hello, friend. Soon, uh, soon fall, dead tired. Yeah, yeah, get some sleep. Come over here. Hey. Hey, you better not Hey, hey, I'll be mad. My reputation better not be going down for defending myself against this assailant. I'll be awfully mad. That does sound like a distinctly pathologic thing to do, though. Come on. Yeah, I should be. Oh God, his friend's coming to get in on it. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, I'm leaving. Oh Christ! Ugh, ugh. Not like this. I guess I'll use that bandage after all. That's, that wasn't the bandage. Yes, live. Mm, let's have a sip of water also since we're getting foresty. Oh, your mind. Oh, oh god, oh, leave me be, please. Mercy. Oh god, I don't want to stab these men to death. I know that that will not help matters. Stop. Oh, Christ almighty. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Rise and shine. Don't you dare kick the bucket on me, low life. Round here we die on our own terms, not by the hands of others. Was I unconscious? There you were, pal. There you were. Tired? Or do you need a bite? A drink? I can't share. But you'll have to pay for the water. Not too much around. You're right, I need some sleep. Look, pal, this won't do. Gave up my own blanket to carry you. Guess what you did? Cough blood all over it, asshole. You owe me a blanket now. A nice wool blanket. I wouldn't mind seeing a little spirit from you either, you know what I mean? What happened to me? So there you are, dead as a doornail. Down we dive to pluck your teeth out, and then, wow, turns out you're alive. And Crop over there says, don't you touch him, you vultures. He's Bad Grief's best friend since childhood. Well, Crop this time was not full of shit. Now Bad Grief's all happy, even rewarded us. Go ahead, say hello. He's over there. Well, thank you. You owe me a blanket, got it? Got a little, a little gift for saving you. Something off the top shelf. I got it, I got it. Alright, amazing. What's this? The Gorkhan water is polluted. To quench thirst, I'll have to search for water barrels and fountains. I already knew that. Alright, we've already talked to Bad Grief. Thanks, buddy. Alright, well, since I've ended up over here, let's see if we can't figure out what's wrong with the kids, at least, so we know what we need to try and find. Hey, what's going on? Who's poisoned? Look, see, everyone, the doctor is here. Why do you think I'm a doctor? We've been looking for a doctor since morning. What other reason would a grown-up have for coming here? Tell me about your problem. You're too late, they died. Why didn't you come sooner? What kind of doctor aren't you? Three kids are dead and no one gives a damn. No kids, worse. Those were our dogs. You're right, that is worse. Alma, Wolfling, and Duke. Who poisoned them? Somebody evil. Notkin's planning on holding a trial. He wanted you to be there, too. Well, at least I made it in time for the trial. Not all is lost. I It really wasn't even that long for me to get here, to be honest with you. Um, unless I was unconscious for like fucking three hours, maybe. Are you not, Kim? 
Where are my right paws? Where are my bloodhounds? You're here. Good. The trial can go in. Who are you anyway, Run? Notkin. Chief Notkin round here. But the real question is, who are you? I am Artemi Barak, son of Isidore. A question first. They say you're no son to old Barak. He was a doctor. He saved lives. It is said that you kill instead. Is that true? I am a Barak. Have no doubts. Answer the question, please. Are you a murderer or no? No, and listening to idle chatter does you no good. Calm down, no need to get defensive. Or are you uncomfortable doing this in front of my soul of my of in front of my soul and a halves? Uh aren't you cheeky boy? Cheeky or not, this isn't a game. We're talking about something important here. I'm all ears. Tell me, is it right to kill? We need to know what you believe. Old Barak wasn't just a doctor to us, he was a teacher. He knew how to live. You say you are his, you are his son, so you're to take his place and answer. Is murder acceptable? It's right to kill someone who preys on the weak and defenseless to take revenge against those who deserve it. Only in self-defense, only to protect a loved one. No, killing is never right. I'll go with only to protect a love run. What's with the frown? You're thinking about your father, aren't you? Yes, I am. So murder can be right sometimes. Looks like... Who are you planning on killing, boy? It's not about me, but about us. My soul and a halves always hang together. Answer the question. Take your time if you need to. You may very well be choosing our fate. Fine. Yes, sometimes killing is acceptable. I mean, to say it's never acceptable, I think, is a lie, you know. So, good. We now know the kind of man you are. Here ends the trial. You're free to go. So you know me, huh? I was quick. I guess I should talk to you if I am ever confused. Half men, half boys. No more knives, no more toys. What? You have your revenge and so do we. No, I do. We now know how to deal with Laika, and that verdict can't be appealed. All you and I have in common now is what is to, that today will end soon. Go thanks for your help. Wait a second, what did this Laika do? Laika poisoned our friends, who were weak and defenseless. It's an open and shut case. You mean the dogs? We are soul and a halves. To us, they're not mere dogs, but friends. I understand. And we prefer them to people. Agreed. So, why do you care? Listen, kids. I'll handle this. Where did that come from? He's our problem, not yours. You've done your part, we'll do your, we'll do the rest. You'll put him on guard. I, however, can get the drop on him. Perhaps you could, and then what? Um... <laughs> if he's as bad as you say, I'll drag him over here. You know what? Give him this leash. He'll understand what it means. Will you do this for us? Sure. We have a deal. Murky says it's by the gumstone. Where's that? The gumstone! Step word from the basket. Aren't you supposed to know all this? Or do you step folk have different names for everything? Ah, it's the same. Nah, it's the same. I know the place. Alright. Uh, oh my goodness, you've all got something to say, don't you? Knives, scissors, blades, razors, anything sharp. If you got a sharp axe, I'm interested. Getting armed and ready? Those items are what I barter for. We need them. And what would you give me for sharp objects? Lock picking shivs. If you're handy with locks, you can open three or four doors with one. Brand new. And needles. Good for smaller locks, like locker doors. So you trade needles for knives. Strange. Oh, so you aren't a local. We aren't allowed razors. If they catch us, we'll be granted for a year. Might even get spanked. Uh... Nice try with the bullshit, but I'm not buying it. Razors aren't the only forbidden sharp objects. So where'd you get all those pins? Did you break into a tailor shop? Sure, a train full of needles derailed outside my window. Happy now? Why do you care? Honestly, I know we're meant to be in Russia right now. This is the exact kind of response you'd get in England. <laughs> yeah, eh, train crashed outside the house. What do you want from me? Why do you care? We barter because we need, don't need pins anymore. We've outgrown them. You're all grown up, aren't you? Now listen, kid. Only butchers are allowed cutting tools. And Scissors for a needle is a trade. Good de trade. Deal. I'm not too picky, to be honest with you. You can have my broken fucking scissors. 
and the uh, fishing hooks. What you got though? I would like a lockpick, that's for sure. Can be used for small locks. Probably take like one, right? I was having a bit of trouble adding the needle. Oh, oh, are we good? We good? We good? Okay, alright. Morphine. Can we do morphine and a needle? We can do morphine and a needle. Amazing. It's a deal. Much appreciated. What you got? Thank you for actually coming. You are so brave. Look, we all made a gift for you to welcome you here. See? It's bread! Oh my god. <laughs> It's a miracle. Please don't frown. It's all we can spare. We need to eat, too. There's a lot of mouse to feed. Thank you. When I get my house back, come visit. I'll return the favor. Sorry it's so stale. And drink the milk fast, because it'll go bad soon. But the water is fresh from a ravine. So you kids are all hungry, too? Yeah, we are on our own, after all. I can't accept this gift. But you're a guest! Take it! Or else we'll get bad luck. We need more luck more than food right now. Alright, I'll take it, thanks. To be honest with you. I don't know that I'm in any position to be too picky about whose bread I take right now. Oh yeah, sick. How fast do you think the milk's gonna go off? Do you think it actually does? I'm gonna drink the milk now. <laughs> Water is easy to find, at least for now. Can I trade with you? Do you have anything? Boots? Twenty cloth, man. Oh my goodness, you ask the world. Alright, anybody else in here I can chat to? No, but I can save the game, so I'll do that. Thank you. Alright, so, but we've got, we've also got to go save that guy that's being, like, alright, so we can go do that, but, like, there's a, a medical thing over there that needs tending to, so we'll go do that first. I don't really know how to describe this music. I kind of feel like the soundtrack is going to sneak up on me at any second. Ooh, a spring. Alright. Where's the boy that needs surgery? I'm ready to perform surgery. I traded hearts with someone just the other day. I think I'm an expert. Ah, probably this way. Hello, sir. Surgery! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. How do I... How do I know? You, what's wrong with him? And you are? Um, a doctor from Bad Grief. Tell me what happened. One of ours got himself cut is what happened. A shiv stuck in his side. A lot of blood, see. But at least he's breathing for now. What did I- fuck, I didn't actually read what I said to him. No, don't you forget to give him alcohol or powders, anything. Gotta kill the pain first. A switchy man, this one. He'll flop around like a fish. Um... Powders? You have no ability to perform an operation. But you got something to cut with? That damn thing stuck deep. Tried to get it out with a knife, didn't work. Need those special knives, scalpels. Uh, you probably saw this on this. Yes, idiots, I have a scalpel. I uh, probably started this. No, we were doing God's work. I don't really want to just call people idiots, you know. God's work. Who did away with old Barack? A shabnock, that's who. We've tracked the man-eater. Then all the f step trash poured in, yelling that she's no shabnack. They took our shivs, ten of them on two. We slaughtered a living woman. We avenged Barack. Peacework himself grabbed her. Don't you glare at me like that. Come on, help the man. Can't you see he's about dead? Do what Bad Grief says. Some doctor he sent us. Shut up, I'm on it. Oh, it's on his side, right? So we don't really want to operate up there, do we now? Operate. Do I drain his blood? No blood. Excellent. Are you good? 
Hey, I can hear him breathing now. All normal. What is this? Splinter. He'll live unless he dies. You're clearly not from around here. Ah, this is a local tradition. We don't keep knives. They might call it cutlery, but it ain't sure ain't for cutting. Godless beasts who fear neither life nor death make these disposables. You jab once, then it breaks. All about observing the custom. Um, I know about the custom. Very, I could continue to do surgery on him if I so desired. He's probably good. I feel like we've taken care of the situation. Now, bloody lockpick. Fair enough. I doubt anyone would want to trade for this thing, but I can use it. Alright, well. My job's done here. He'll live unless he dies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's take, you know, see what we can take from here. Chalk. Money. Nice. Well. Lost running the area. Right? Hmm. Am I doing it right? Am I trying to hold it in that area? Probably right. Okay, I understand. Uh, I was... I've never seen a lockpicking UI like that. I was really taken aback. Alright. Great. Springs. Immunity boosters and money. Nice. Uh... Okay. So, anything else? No.